Spurge here in this video, we're gonna break down the new Alpine Stars Colt 8 riding jeans. So this is gonna be the newest riding jean from Alpine Stars, and really what they're going after here is a bit more of a relaxed fit with a straight cut to it. Now you can see, even as we say that, it's still gonna be slim through the thigh with just a bit more of a straight cut to it around the ankles and the calves, and again, just much more of a relaxed fit in Alpine Stars line. So for myself, I've been using uh, the Copper V2s for a while. I think there's now a Copper V3, and that's a riding jean that I've loved for quite a long time. I like the slimmer cut to it, but something like this has a bit more elastane, a little bit more stretch, and is gonna then just be a little bit more comfortable. Now the pricing on these are gonna come in around the $215 price point at the time that we're recording this. And really when we're gonna discuss this first and foremost, I wanna hit on sizing. Really what we're gonna talk about here is the fact that anytime you put on a pair of jeans, people are like, well, what jean size do you wear? And for 80% of the time, we're like, I'm a 36. But every now and then, there's a jean manufacturer where you do have to bump up to a size, let's say 38. So for my range, I would say I'm a 36 to a 38. Traditionally in Alpine Stars, I'm usually on the smaller side of that range. I'm a 36. Same thing with these. You can see Pat McHugh is wearing them right now. Pat stands at six feet tall, weighs in at 215 pounds and is typically 80% of the time a 34 in his jeans. Every now and then he has to bump to a 36. He's wearing them in a size 34. You can see it fits him spot on again. Slim through the thigh, a little bit of extra room down around the calf, but not too tight in the belly, not too tight in the waist. We're gonna say that for this jean, you're gonna wanna wear the size you would normally wear 80% of the time as your go-to size for jeans. Now sizes will range from a 28 up to a 40. There's a 32 or a 34 inch inseam option. McHugh on my left is wearing the 34 inch inseam and you can see a little bit long on him. Uh, he does have it rolled up one notch. So depending on whether or not you wanna do the roll up look or not the roll up look, you can fine tune your inseam but you should have no surprises from an inseam standpoint. Colors, you have a blue version and a black version. So with that out of the way, when we're talking about construction on this, this is gonna be a combination of cotton, about 94% cotton, about 5% polyester, and about 1% elastane. And that is what's gonna give you the abrasion resistance. It is rated CEA for abrasion. So not the most aggressive rating out there for protection. So just a note on that, it is gonna be a combination of comfort. It's not nearly as hot to wear in the summertime as something like the Copper V2s. That's probably my, my biggest complaint with the Copper V2s. Is they do get hot and they feel just you know overwhelmingly warm on your thighs, almost a little itchy uh, if you're wearing them in the heat of the summer. This is gonna be a little bit better for that. But with that, you are sacrificing a bit of the abrasion resistance. Now, what I do like about these is that the new Colt 8s are using Alpine Star's new Nucleon Flex Plus knee armor. And unlike the Copper V2s, which are using the older style armor, um, and I just keep referencing the Copper V2s because that would be a clear step up from these, and also they're the ones that I've used the most, but this is gonna use the new Alpine Stars knee armor. So CE level one armor, um, but much more comfortable, much more flexible. And as you can see, you can barely tell that there is armor in the riding jeans. And that's one of the things we overall appreciate about the style is they don't look like a riding jean. They look like a casual pair of jeans. There's very little to give away. There's no extra additional seams you're gonna see sticking out here. Maybe just one little seam. Uh, Pat, go ahead and strike the, the sideways position for me. You see what I'm talking about? You do have the Alpine Stars logo there, and just one small little extra external seam that, that might give this away a little bit, but frankly, compared to some of the riding jeans we've seen, I think they did a fantastic job making these look like a regular pair of jeans. The armor inside for the knee armor is uh, height position adjustable, so you can move the armor up or down to make sure that it fits. When you're standing up, you want the armor to sit just at or slightly below your knee. And we find that then once you're in the riding position, it covers you exactly where it should be. But you can play around with that to find exactly where you want the armor to fit for you. No hip armor is included, but there are pockets in there if you wanna add the hip armor to the jeans. Simple, classic five pocket look. McHugh, you can go ahead and face backwards. When we get around to the back, there is an Alpine Stars logo on the right rear pocket, and then there's also an Alpine Stars logo up at the top. Um, the, the top logo is not a belt 
pass through. Uh, that would have actually been nice to see is if they would have made that little patch a bit larger and allowed the belt to pass through it. And I only say that because sometimes the pressure points on the back, you know, if there's only one belt loop, uh, can kind of pull up, especially if you're in more of a tuck position and you're, you know, wrapping your jacket around the belt from a security standpoint. But there are two belt loops right there, so that shouldn't be an issue with these particular riding jeans. Sir, you can go ahead and face forward for me. And again, simple five pocket design, nothing much more to talk about. Classic look to the jeans, classic fit. The elastane that is in there, it's only 1%, but it does a really good job of making these a comfortable option for you. They stretch, they move with you when you're on the motorcycle, um, which is exactly what you're looking for, especially in a riding jean where you do need to be a bit more mobile. And comfort comes into play too, when you're in that riding position for a longer period of time and you're not having that stretch with the jean they can be a bit uncomfortable. So I like what Alpine Stars is doing. I like the iteration they've made here and a bit more of a straight cut aimed at the American rider. So for those of you out there that might be new to riding jeans or maybe you're new to the Alpine Stars brand and you want more information from people that have already been out there riding in these uh, in addition to Mr. McHugh, uh, you can always do us a solid, click that little info button on the desktop or mobile device that you are watching this video on and you can read other rider reviews. You can read more about the products here and you can look at other products that are comparable to these. If you have questions as to which riding jeans are right for you and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different riding jeans available to make sure you find the right pair of pants to match your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Alpine Stars Cult 8 jeans. I'm Spurge. These are Pat McHugh's legs. Enjoy the ride.